Hi guys, today is September 4th and look, daylight. I'm actually trying to record this midday instead of 8.30 at night for once. Yay, me. So, yesterday went smashingly well for Boris Johnson and the toys, I would say. How about you? Um, about as well as to be expected, given how Brexit has been poorly managed from day one, which was three years ago, and we still have no idea what Brexit looks like, even though we are now apparently hurtling towards it in less than two months. So, rather than talk about Brexit today, I want to talk about a massive voting block um, that every party is missing except the Women's Equality Party. And that is the young working women. So, I'm referring to an article that was published in The Independent yesterday, featuring our former leader, Sophie Wagner. I'm sure you have all seen it by now, but if not, Sophie Wagner is now the chair of the Young Women's Trust, which is a charity that helps low or no income young women from the ages of 18 to 30. Many of them are pregnant or with children. Many of them can't get out of austerity. First of all, because the system is stacked against them if they do get pregnant. And secondly, it is a fact that austerity, which seems to now be a historical epoch rather than a short-term measure, has hit women hardest. Our pension doesn't cut. We have lost a lot of um, resources with the introduction of universal credit. And... Um, the fact is that the way benefits are paid now often encourages women to have to stay in abusive or dysfunctional relationships because their benefit checks aren't even written out to them. It's one name per household. That's just a little bit of what austerity has done to the young women of this country. But now, 72% of women aged 18 to 24 say that they have less faith in their political representatives representing them than they did a year ago. 72%. That's three quarters, which is absolutely shocking. But it shouldn't really be that much of a surprise. As Sophie Walker points out, these MPs and politicians have been focusing exclusively on Brexit. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. And like little boys in the bathtub, because let's not forget, these are mostly men. Domestic problems, domestic issues haven't even remotely been discussed and are not keeping up with inflation, are not keeping up with the gig economy, and is going to pot. Furthermore, Sophie Walker notes that there is particular disenfranchisement with young women with disabilities, 
Hello, that's me. Um, because you're doubly affected. Same with the young women of ethnic minorities, because most politicians are white. Um, young women from working class backgrounds, because a lot of politicians in this country went to Eden and can't bother to look constituents in the eye. Um, as we saw from Jacob Weizmoth's ridiculous posture um, yesterday, lying on the couch of MP, I can't believe his mother would let him get away with that. But what do I know? I wasn't raised in this country, but there is contempt. Now, don't forget the left. The left is, and I will keep saying this, probably do a video on this tomorrow or Friday. The left is contributing to the problem. And I say this to all you women who would rather vote labor. They are not on your side. We'll get to that briefly. But the left has done very little to pull the attention away from Brexit. Part of this is because the poor regions of England genuinely believe, according to their voting block, that they would do they would be better off with Brexit. And so the left in labor is going, my, my constituency voted for Brexit. Crap. That's a problem. And it's a problem because it means that they aren't even happy with their own representatives. Now, this is why I believe, and we have discussed this at length in the party, women, particularly working women and older women, are a massive voting block that is being untapped and being ignored by every single other party. The fact is, Labour assumes that women will vote for them. That is why Jeremy Corbyn can get up in front of the entire Labour conference and claim that Labour is the only party for women. But we have seen them deny women's rights again and again. If you are an employer like I am, you know as well as I do that the two year that the maternity leave system is a mess and only privileges are the women who work at big companies who can afford additional maternity leave or women that can take off the full year with little to no pay. Statutory maternity leave is not enough to raise a child on. And we are telling, labor is telling women that maternity pay is covered. There are gaps. Furthermore, child, free child care doesn't start until a child is two years old, which means there's a gap between statutory maternity pay and child care that is unfulfilled. That gap is where young women fall into problems in a big way. Women also do not feel that they have a voice, which is why they are not participating in politics on the day to day. Why would they? Um, politicians don't look like young women. 
we know from women like Alexandra Ocado Cortez in the U.S. that if we see women that look like us in politics, we will join in. But that's not happening. It is a male favored system. We know this because we've seen what happened earlier this year when a vote was missed because a um, member of parliament was on maternity leave and her partner showed up for a Brexit vote even though he wasn't supposed to because it was agreed upon that they would hold back on each other's votes. We know that there is no maternity pay if you're an MP or maternity cover. It's awful. But labor has done very little to disengage with these women. Needless to say, the toys haven't done much to engage them either. We have to start looking at reality. The biggest voting bloc that has power is women, particularly young women. If we can engage with the young women, we can also enable them that they will have to be heard by those constituents, regardless of what their income is, regardless of what amount of privilege there is. These women need to be represented. And until we get past the first past the post system, where majority rule is highly simplistic and will always favor white, wealthy men, we are not going to have a representative government. Without a representative government, we have men in power that are interested in big headlines like Brexit and are doing little to affect the day-to-day -day running of this country as the wheels fall off. It's that simple. This is one of the many reasons why the Women's Equality Party has to exist and will continue to push for equal opportunity and equality. That's a 13 minute long rant, which I'm sure will be very fun to upload now online. Um, but feel free to follow me. We're still waiting to see what the ballot is going to look like in the women's equality election for a policy committee. But like I said, the for I made a promise to do political votes every day in September, political videos, sorry, political videos every day in September, and I will abide by that promise, regardless of if the ballot is opening soon or not. I am here, engage with me if you have any Question, send me an email or a direct message on Twitter. I would love to reach out to the branches and see what you're up to. That's all I've got for you today. Remember, you are loved, you are precious, and you contain multitudes. Bye for now.